What's up guys, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make wearable armor in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. First things first, you actually need something to wear, and I'm going to create a vest. But before we actually create the vest, we actually want to scale it to a rig. So I'm going to be using an R15 block rig, and it's basically just like the normal character. And if you want to use anything else, you can. Just uh, change the avatar type and rig and build it to it. I'm going to show you everything, how to do all that. And what we're going to do is actually just scale it like this. So bring it over to the rig. And then if it's too, if you're scaling it too big, go to model tab and then decrease the move increment. So I like to use 0.25 studs. Then I'm just going to duplicate it, bring it over to the back side, and then copy it again. Move it like this. So now we have like a overarching vest that goes over your torso. Now that doesn't look really good, but now we're just going to select all of it, change the color to black, and then I'm just going to set the material to sand. And now it looks more like a bulletproof vest. So now that we have like a cool vest thing going on here now we actually need to weld all these together so they don't fall apart and the way we do that is we'll just create one thing that we want to weld them all to we could all weld them to the front right here uh which would work we could just make a part in the middle that we could weld them to but we just want to have like a primary part to weld all of these two and you can even union them together but just for the sake if you guys are making your own vest then i'm just going to show you how to do this so I'm just going to remove the rig and move it over there. And then I'm going to duplicate this and then just scale it and make it just like right in the middle. That way we have like a base part right here. And I'm going to change the size to 0.5 also. So it's just like a little square. And this is actually where we're going to move the part and everything. So I'm going to name this to primary. And you can also name it to handle or anything else. And then I'm just going to make the transparency one and turn can collide off so it does not collide. And I'm also going to do the same with all of these, just turn can collide off. That way this doesn't collide and mess up our player. Then I'm going to group all these together, and then I'm going to set the primary part of this model to primary. Then I'm going to rename this model to vest, and then this is not going to make all these stick together. We actually need to weld them. So the way we're going to do that is create a bunch of weld constraints, set the part 0 to primary, uh, which means part 1 will stick to part 0. So we want all these to stick to part one. Then you can duplicate this four times or three times. Uh, and then set the part one. Just keep welding all of these together. Select one at a time. And don't weld the same one twice because then something will be left undone. And then you can rename these to just like anything you want, like vest weld. And then the names of these really don't matter. Uh, so now everything's welded. And what we're going to do is put this vest in replicated storage and what that will do is it's actually going to just keep in replicated storage so the server and the client can access it and also so we can just store it without being in the workspace all right now we're going to add a script into a part like this so I'm just gonna make a cool looking part add a script into it and then we need to add a click detector and now what we're going to do is make it so when you click this part it's going to give you the vest equipped. So I'm just going to get the part by doing local part equals script.parent. And what this does is the parent of the script, which you can see in properties, is part. So we're getting parent property of the part. So it's getting this. And then what that does is it tells us where the part is in the game so we can access the click detector. So then we'll get the click detector by doing part.clickdetector. And now this isn't actually a property this is just a child of the part so the parent of the part or the parent of the click detector is also the part so we can just do that too all this hierarchy stuff can be a little confusing let me know if you need any help with this in the comments down below now we're going to connect a function to the mouse click event of the click detector so basically whenever the player clicks on this part uh, what's going to happen is it's going to connect this function it's going to run this code and it's going to give us the player who clicked it. Now we're going to get the character of the player by doing local character equals player dot character. And then we're going to get the humanoid so we can modify the health of the character by doing character dot humanoid. And then we're going to get the torso of the character. And now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because if you're not using R15, it's going to be different. Or if you're using R6, it's going to be different. So what we can do is instead of just doing character upper torso, we want to figure out if they're R6 or R15. So we can do character find first child upper torso. And this will either return nil 
or it's going to return the torso. How we can check if this return nil is by doing or character find first child torso. And what this will do is basically the torso is being set to the character's upper torso. And if the upper torso doesn't exist, which would be if it's R6, then it, we set it to the character torso. And this is just how you make it work for R6 and R15. Now, uh, we're, what we're gonna do is check if they have a vest. And to check if they have a vest, we wanna get the name of this. So we're just going to get the vest in replicated storage. So we can do local vest equals game.replicated storage dot vest and what this will do is it's telling us where the vest is and then it returns the vest right here so it's just getting the vest for us okay and what this means is we go to replicate storage go to the vest and then now we have the vest pretty simple now we're going to check if they have the vest so if character find first child vest dot name uh and this will mean they have the vest but we want to know if they don't have the vest so we just add not and what not does is it's basically the opposite of whatever this value is uh basically we're just checking if they don't have a vest okay now we're going to clone the vest so we're going to get the new vest which is vest clone then we're going to parent the vest to the character and now we have to weld it to their torso so we're going to do local new weld equals instance dot new weld constraint and what instance dot new does is it creates a new object so we're just creating a new weld and what we're going to do is set the part 0 to the torso and then the part 1 to the new vest. Then we can parent the new weld to the new vest. We're cloning the vest, putting it in the character, we're creating a new weld, then we're making the part 0 of the weld be the torso so the vest will stick to the torso and then we parent it to the new vest just so we can like have it in there and also sometimes it causes bugs when welds aren't parented to the workspace so this sh will be good now so now uh we also want to change the health of the character so the humanoid dot max health plus equals 50 and what this will do is it'll increase the health by 50. so when you do plus equals or times equals or minus equals this basically just is the exact same as doing humanoid dot max health plus 50. so instead of doing all that you can just do plus equals 50. all right now our script should be good we're just going to press play here and see if it works oh actually we did make one mistake here um so as you can see if you go to replicate storage you'll see the vest oh we actually had the primary part so we need to weld this to the primary part so new vest dot primary part there we go uh, i did make a simple mistake there we can't weld to models all right so now if we do this as you can see we get the max health and we get this except as you can see, it's just floating over here because weld constraints just weld exactly where they are. The way we can fix this is just by positioning the new vest. So new vest.cframe equals torso.cframe. And what this will do is basically whenever the new vest is cloned, we get the torso's cframe right here. And then we set the new vest cframe to that. Uh, except we want to change the primary part. Dot C frame. Okay, now what this will do is it'll make it so this basically is just teleported straight to where the torso is. And what C frame is, I'll show you right now. When you look in the torso, the C frame, it just says C frame right here. It's just position and orientation. So where it is in the game and how it's rotated. Okay, so now we're going to press play again and we're going to equip the vest and see if it works. All right, as you can see, it works and we have a vest now. If we reset our character, the vest falls off. And we can keep equipping a new one though. So we also want to make sure that the character is still alive. So if humanoid.health is greater than zero and not character find for child vest on name. So basically if the humanoid's health is greater than zero, so if they're not dead and if character doesn't have a vest. And we also want to change the humanoid's health. We want to just decrease it by 52. Okay, so now if we press play, you'll see here that the vest will actually be equipped. And then the health is good. If we check workspace, uh, cast the king, humanoid, health, it's 150. Now, if we reset our character, <coughs> we won't be able to keep equipping new ones. Perfect. Now, just to show you guys that this works, I'm going to insert a zombie. And then after we insert the zombie, we're just going to press play away from the zombie so it doesn't immediately kill us. And then we're going to walk over here, trying to kill that, get its attention. Now we equipped the thing and we're taking damage, but not as much as it would be. And it's trying to kill us, but we have more health and we would have died <coughs> sooner. But since we have the vest and just to show you guys that we would have actually like got killed sooner, I'll just walk in front. As you can see, we're dying in like three hits, basically. Then we equip the vest and we still have life in us. Perfect. <coughs> okay. So what if you want to not just create a vest, you want to create a helmet too. 
do? Well, it's also pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, let's just create a new part. I'll make this one green. Move this over here. Make it a little bit better green. Okay. Uh, and now we want this to be a helmet. So let's just create a helmet for this guy. So just add this guy over here. We're gonna, just gonna make this perfect now we got got a pretty cool hat going here okay so now let's make this a little bit bigger make it just a cool helmet and then we're just gonna repeat the exact same steps for what we did to the vest and now we have a helmet it looks pretty weird but it'll work so now we're gonna select all these group it and now we're just going to create a primary part for it and you don't also have to make it right in the middle i mean you can use anything on here but i like to just do it so i'm gonna set the size to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and i'll make it right in the middle and then it should be good we want it to be basically be the exact same position as the head so just copy the position in the head and then you can just select this paste the position perfect now name this primary or you don't even have to name it you can just select it name this to helmet grab all this we can just make um can't glide off set the color we can make it like blue maybe that'd be cool maybe set this to titanium or diamond plate i mean and then make it like a cool color like that now we also need to weld again so do the weld constraint part zero primary and then just duplicate this and then we set this one also duplicate this to how many parts you have uh because you you want to weld every one of these parts so let me just select this one and i like to start from the top so it's easier to go by and boom name this helmet constraint uh now we just do the exact same for the vest and then in this part right here in the green one we're going to edit that script and instead of the vest change this to helmet and we're just going to change all of it to helmet by copying it and pasting it this and then new helmet and it's basically the exact same thing that we did with the vest. You don't even have to change the code, really. And now, uh, everything's basically the exact same. So what we're going to do is, instead of torso, we're going to change this to head equals character dot head. Because the character should always have a head. Also, this isn't good practice of using character dot head. I like to use uh, find for child or wait for child. But just for this, it's simpler to learn. So I'm just showing you guys that. But uh, in the future videos, I'll show you guys the more like advanced ways to do it. So now, everything should be good if we try this out. We should be able to equip the helmet and the vest. So if we equip this, perfect. And we equip the vest. <laughs> awesome. Uh, now, this guy, he's doing some damage, but I have 200 health now, so he can't really do much to me. And then you could also do the exact same thing for every part of the body. This is pretty cool. Now we have a working armor system. And also, I think you would probably want to do this with R6 to make it simpler, but it works. And now we're just going to do that. And now we have a vest and a helmet. Or if you want to make these like team specific, like only a certain team can do it, you can easily do that by going like if player dot team is not equal to game dot teams dot red or whatever, then return. Or you can just do that to make it team specific. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.